Hey, what is up guys? Skullified here and we are back with My Hero Season 2, Episode 12. Last episode, we got basically a lot of the tournament wrapped up. We only have Bakugo versus Todoroki left, which should be absolutely insane. Um, however, Ida's older brother got uh, killed by presumably either the new he new villain of the season or like maybe one of the new main villains just in general. They, they called him Stain, the hero killer, um, who was just contacted also by the uh, villain association there who attacked at the end of season one. So if he's been doing all this without the help of them, now having their help, he's probably going to be even more of a problem. And he obviously wants to fight All Might, which is going to be a big issue because All Might ain't powerful. Or, I mean, he's powerful, but he's losing his power. He ain't going to be as powerful as he was or however Stain probably presumes he's powerful. He's definitely not that level anymore. So we're going to have to deal with that, obviously, which is a big thing, big part of the show in general. Um, Deku's still recovering, obviously. Recovery Girl said she won't heal him from big injuries anymore, which means it's hopefully going to push Deku to start actually figuring out what he needs to do to fix it um, and be able to do it without having it recovered every single time. But yeah, uh, oh, and All Might was quirkless. Pr pretty, pretty minor detail there. But uh, yeah, um, if you guys are excited to see my reaction to Todoroki versus Bakugo, be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe as well, hit that notification bell while you're down there. Let's hop right into the episode. I wonder how long they have before the match. Oh, we're seeing maybe a little bit more into that flashback? Maybe not. Maybe we're just seeing what we're just thinking about right now. Which it is. It just reminds... You a lot about your shitty father. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> bastard. Why is Bakugo just so angry all the time? <laughs> I wouldn't call them friends, but... Why does everything just piss him off? Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Come on, Baku, you're doing so good. Oh. Bakugo's mad that he used them on Deku, but he's not going to use them against him, is he? He's going to beat Bakugo without using the flames, isn't he? And that's just going to piss him off so much. I don't think I don't think Bakugo is winning this. I think this is Todoroki all the way. Okay, I hope this goes for a minute. Okay. I low-key thought for a second he was about to, like, destroy Bakugo in one second, but... Nah, Bakugo's gotta put up more than a fight. He's gotta put up a fight, right? He was doing he was doing his explosions. Yeah, he's, he's chilling. I hear him over there. Explosions? Yeah. Alright, man. I low-key do want Todoroki to do this without using his fire, just to piss Bakugo off a little bit more. But, I, I don't think Todoroki's gonna lose. Oh. Wait, is Bakugo's not gonna win, right? He can make the ice to block himself, yep. Oh, oh. He'd destroy him. Yeah, he would have destroyed him if he did. He might have, like, blew off his arm or something if he used it. 
He's trying, he's trying to bait out. He's trying to bait out the fire. Oh, he's starting to get cold, too. He's gonna have to use fire. Exactly. Beat Bakugo's ass. But now do you know? To use it? Damn, he's rooted for Todoroki as well! Bah! Imagine! That's what Bakugo gets for being a dick to him his entire life. Come on, Todoroki. He's using it. Oh my god, let's go. His eye! No, don't, don't fuck up. He gave up last second? Bro, Bakugo's ego is gonna be through the roof if he wins. Oh, he's out of bounds. They really- Bakugo really won? Really? Has Todoroki like- Todoroki's being put to sleep by the main girl there, yeah. That's what she tried to do to Deku and Bakugo. I mean Deku and uh, Todoroki the first time. God damn, I, I didn't expect Bakugo to win, but I guess it makes sense. Todoroki still having some issues trying to get through all of it, but... I was really hoping that um, Deku would have, like, Deku's, like, support would have got him through it. But I guess not. Why is Bakugo tied up? Wait. Why does Tokuyomi get third place over Ida? Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Alright, I'm glad they acknowledged that. Oh. Oh, wait, is he not dead? Maybe? Maybe the brother isn't dead? He looked like he was bleeding a lot, though. Yeah, it's rough. Because his whole goal was to be like his brother. I don't know, his brother looked pretty dead, but I feel like his mom would have said he, his brother told him. Instead of making him come all the way there just to find out. All Might's really doing it. Between your dad, most likely. Yeah, he seems a lot more relaxed than he did from before. He, yeah, this is just, that's what Bakugo needs. Just a little, little relaxation. Oh, it's going to be so bad as soon as you take that off. <sighs> God. Bakugo is something else. Oh, wow. Well, they're in a few days off? Wait, why is it still in Bakugo's mouth? What the fuck? I hope Todoroki and Deku, like, either have a conversation or, like, 
Oh, is Ida still not back? Oh, okay, he is alive. Is he gonna die? He didn't wait for Tenya to get here just to die, right? I didn't hear the flat line. I didn't hear a flat line. So he's good then, because I didn't hear a flat line. So he's perfectly fine. Gonna make a full recovery. Got it. Wait. Oh, she still lives with her mom? Oh, wait. Oh, is that one of his sisters? Like he'd need to tell his dad. He could, he could probably stand up to his dad now. I don't know. Maybe maybe not. We haven't seen Endeavor. Endeavor's supposed to be the number two hero, but Todoroki's super strong. But I wonder where his mom is. I, I would like him to see his mom. Oh, he is? Okay. I wonder if she was, like, informed at the waiting thing, or if she... She's gonna be surprised, or... Everyone has starting lines. We had Deku's starting line, we had Bakugo's starting line, now we're getting Todoroki's starting line. I, I like that. I like that they do that. I'm surprised this episode wasn't called... I mean, obviously Todoroki Bakugo is a better title, but I feel like it would have. this would have also like made sense for it to be called Todoroki's start line, seeing they've already had a few episodes called that for other characters. But, obviously, as we saw, Ingenium, perfectly fine, not really in trouble whatsoever, didn't, no flat line, gonna be solid recovery, Ida has nothing to worry about. <sighs> no, but for real, I, I don't know. What, I, like, I, in being serious, I, I didn't hear the flat line, I was expecting to hear a flat line for, like, him to die, so I don't know if he's just gonna be in serious condition, or if he is gonna pass away, and... That's something Ida's going to have to deal with. But either way, I th I'm very excited for this to move into um, Stain, the hero killer. Move back into some more villainy stuff. Because we had a similar thing in the um, season one where like we got introduced to all our, like, our good guys. And then we finally had the villains. Whereas now we got, again, introduced to our good guys and their abilities. And now I think will be a good time to start delving into the villains. Have some villains come in. They've already introduced Stain. Actually, the more I think about it, I'm pretty sure there's an end credit for this episode. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I thought something happened. Oh, she gets the little, like... Red dots from her mom, that's cool. That has to be so hard to explain. I'm surprised he didn't actually tell his mom, but his mom would probably have... No, it's probably not smart to tell his mom. More starting line talk. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot she said she was going to record it. Baku go like that. Oh fuck. Um. Okay. Um. That was cool that they were like showing everyone kind of after the um 
after the little exam because they have a few days off or whatever. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fucking. I know I say Bakugo is like annoying and he's like an asshole, which I'm not saying is a thing against the character because that's it's like he's written that way on purpose. And he, he is really fucking... They, they, they make him really fucking funny, which I very much appreciate. Um, even, though, even though I talk shit about Bakugo, I love the guy. He's fucking, fucking amazing sometimes. But, uh, yeah. Um, again, excited to move on to act some villains. Bakugo won the tournament, as we've seen. Eating his medal, basically. I don't know... What's that? What that's gonna do for him besides just like it put him out there for everyone to like hire him once he graduates school? I don't know if they give anything else special besides the medal or whatnot. But either way, very excited um, for that. Very excited for the rest of the season. See what we're getting into. And I believe next episode also has an end credit, so I will try and remember that one as well. If you guys did enjoy my reaction, be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe as well, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.